Yeah, it's got done finishing a bunch of obsidian that I got. Stuff's pretty cool. And it isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. What I like about it though is you can see right through the stuff. Put a light on it. I don't have my proper flashlight either, but should be able to see the light through it regardless. Yeah, it's some other mixed rocks in here too, but uh, if you look, you can see right through these. Uh, I also got a couple of mixed rocks in here. Probably Lake Superior right here. Yeah, they all got, got a good shine. This one uh, undercut a lot. I don't know what kind of rock that is. And, uh, this all uh, that obsidian. It's like a clear obsidian. I hope you can see through that. Yeah, there it goes. And focus on it. Awful hard to do, boy. Yeah, it doesn't work too good that way. But, uh, yeah, assured, assuringly that they all can see through them all. I sure remember a hard time focusing. But, uh, it's also I had a piece of banded iron here. I do not know why I'm having such problems with this focus. A good sparkler and a cap of quartz in the bottom. Really tidy, but it is something that ended up in the bottom. I don't know if you look, you can see uh, translucency through this. I had some, uh, also some rocks that I found in a landscape pile that got some sparkle to it. I don't know what kind of rock that is. It didn't shine very well. Kind of looks like hematite, but I don't believe it is. Air Lake Superior, really nice shine on that one. Red and greenish type of rock. Another greenish one. Good shine of these, Lake Superior. Like I say, I'm finishing up on a lot of stuff right now. Now I got a load of, uh, of, uh, Flint in there right now, and I'm working on. Hopefully, I can get that done before everything aces up here. Here's a piece of rock I found in my driveway that I cut up. I think it's a piece of, uh, no, oh, probably, probably a piece of jasper, I guess. But, uh, yeah, these, these turned out pretty good, and a lot of good shine to them. So you see, you can see the light through them, which is really neat. They're Apache Tears, actually. Type of obsidian. This is a black, black obsidian. But If I was out in the sunlight, you'd be able to see this a lot better. I mean, I'll repost the other one with the, if I had my proper flashlight here, it'd be a lot better off. You can see the light through, even this is a pretty big one right here. Might have to retumble a few of these, but I, they, they go down pretty fast. I had a piece of, uh, a bigger piece of uh, snowflake obsidian in there too. None of this is. I thought maybe some of these little ones were, but no. My friends should be pretty happy with them. They 
they tumbled for him, you know, and he just wound up shined up and they, they brilliantly shined. There's one here that broke while uh, tumbling. And they gleam and shine right there where it broke. Well, when you when you break this stuff, you know when that broke. It's got a natural shine to it, anyways. But you can see that uh, that light coming through right there. I see a couple of Lake Superior finds too. This white one had a lot of quartzy stuff in it. Uh, yeah, that stuff's neat. You know, a little bit more here. Apache Tears of Obsidian, though. If I get down low, maybe you can see some of that light shining through. It's really pretty cool stuff. This one's really nice too. Uh, looks like a darkish unikite. But I shined it right up with this uh, obsidian. I was a little bit nervous doing it. Followed a special recipe to do this. It's like I say, it's not perfect, but it's pretty yellow and good. Got a good shine to it. Except for a couple little pit marks in there. But but that's the way the stuff was. It had like perlite or, that, or something like that was on it. Uh, yeah. I kind of been waiting for this to get done. They look black, but they're really kind of they got char charcoal gray. See that one you can definitely see through. I wish I had my flashlight. I don't know what happened to my flashlight. That's all I got for now. Like and subscribe.